Hey guys, it's Patty. So I'm getting ready to do my makeup for church and I thought it would be fun to do like a get ready with me chit chat video um, while I'm doing my makeup. I'm going to set a timer for 10 minutes because I have to be really, really fast because we are running behind as always on Sundays. So I thought it would be kind of fun to catch you up with some things that are going on in case you haven't seen my other videos and just kind of chit chat with you guys while I'm getting ready. So I'm setting my timer because I really only have 10 minutes. I'm going to be looking at Amara over here as I do my makeup, um, and then I'll just kind of chat with you guys, and I'll share with you some of my favorite makeup things. I also want to tell you that um, I by no means know how to, like, do some of the things I'm sure is not the correct way to do makeup, but I like the finished look, so I'm just trying to, like, get the finished look. So I'm sure I do some of the things wrong, but this is how I like to put on my makeup. So anyways... Um, total fail. I love the Rummel BB cream, and the other only one Target in our area sells it. There's like three or four Targets in our area, but only one sells it. Um, and I went to that Target. It's further away. I went to get it, and I accidentally picked up this Stay Matte um, foundation, and I hate it. I do not like it at all, and I didn't feel like going to return it so I picked up this Garnier BB cream which I used to use but I find it very liquidy so I just mix the two but the Rummel BB cream is super cheap like five bucks and I love it so um but I'm just trying to use this stuff up for now I don't exactly like um the finish it leaves to me it looks kind of cakey where I like like a dewy natural look um but it's what I have and I kind of want to use it up and um for me it was not worth um, going and returning it. So I'm just using it. But anyways, um, we Sundays are always crazy because we have um, Bible study and we have, um, we have church in the mornings and then the kids come home for naps and um, then we have Bible study in the afternoons at a friend's house. They have like a, we call them growth groups or like home groups or whatever. And it's really nice because for years after having kids, we did not go to one because it was really hard. It's very hard to sit through a Bible study when you have little kids. Um, but it was nice because this one, the family, they have teenagers. So their teenagers watch the kids in a room next to us. So I just keep Ella and then the two bigger kids go to the room next door to watch a movie. So that is like really, really nice. Um, so we usually on Sundays after nap time have to rush and go to the Bible study, um, but today it's canceled because they're doing like a, a church like barbecue um, to raise money for like every year. This is the um, Age Rewind. I love this stuff. Super cheap. Um, every, every year the youth goes like on a camping um, trip in the mountains and during the summer. And um, they do like fundraisers throughout the year. They do like a huge garage sale and different things. So. They're doing a barbecue to raise money. We actually are not going to be seeing just because um, it's a long... The big kids can kind of handle it, but for Ella, it's kind of a long time to be gone. Um, so uh, we probably will not be staying. So Because by the time we get to church and everything like that, it just makes for a long day for the little ones. So um, I do look forward to those things once the kids are a little bit older. We try our best to do some like we stayed they did a fundraiser right before we had Ella and we did stay for that one but it makes for like a long day for the kids um so we decided for today we're just gonna skip it because um I'm using the Milani eyeshadow primer really really cheap and works really great so anyways um we really enjoy that our church does like those family things and and what's nice is it's a fundraiser so they're trying to raise money but if you have like lots of kids they give you like a family lunch rate which is really nice too because although they're doing a fundraiser not everyone has money for like all of these things so anyways but um so I want to update you guys in case you haven't seen any of my other videos on the house hunt this is the tart light medium beige there's like nothing left in here because it's expensive and I haven't wanted to spend money. So I'm like trying to scrape the last little bit. But um, I just like to set the like BB cream with this. Anyways, so I wanted to um, update you guys on what is going on with the house. Um, we have put in an offer on a townhouse. This is the third contract we've been under. We first put in two offers on 
homes, if you haven't seen my other updates. Um, one back in November, October, November, and then one in January, February time frame, and then one March, April time frame. So, which is the one we're in now. So, um, this is the first townhouse, but the area is an amazing area, where the other ones were not the best area. So, we figured it was worth the sacrifice of being in a townhouse. This is my favorite spring palette. It's the Too Faced Sweet Peach. I love this stuff. My mom gave it to me last summer, and I used it, like, every single day. Anyways, um, so we figured because of the area, like, it's super close to my parents, super close to Chris's mom. Um, like five minutes from Chris's mom, ten minutes from my parents, ten minutes from our church. There's a, a post office super close, so we're hoping Chris can get a transfer because right now he has an hour commute, which when he works ten hour days, that's really hard on our family. So um, we're hoping eventually he can get transferred. So anyways, but the although I plan on homeschooling, the school districts are really great. So if I ever had to go back to work, they would be in a great school district. Or it for resale value, that's a great thing to when we go to like resell the place. So we figured um, it was worth not getting a house and just being able to um, live in a great area. So we did the inspections, everything came back fairly well, fairly good compared to the other houses. I mean, uh, with our price range, there's always going to be something that comes back that's wrong, but it was like the least compared to the others, which is why we had to walk away from the other two. So, um, we, the inspection came back fairly decent, and so did the appraisal, and then like I said, we're working with the county to, um, get something a little bit more expensive, because we have a grant, that way we can end up like in a nicer area. So, um, the county sent their inspector, and um, they ha are requiring us to get some things fixed before we proceed. So we have to ask for an extension. We're actually supposed to close the 26th, which is six days away. But we have to ask, ask for an extension, which we are praying that the sellers will agree to. And as long as they agree to that, then we should be able to get the house. The appraisal came back fine. Everything else came back fine. So I'm really excited. Um, like I said, Bible study today is canceled. So I actually am having Chris and my dad, they're going to be building me, they already started actually, but they're going to be building like a farmhouse style, um, entryway table for me and a kid's table, like for homeschooling. So I'm really excited. Like you guys know how much I love decorating. So I have like everything planned out in my brain of how I want stuff. So I'm like super excited. Um, so yeah, I, um, it's been hard. It's been a lot harder than what I expected it to be. Um, so if you guys are going through the house hunting process too, let me know if it's that hard in the area you live in. I know we live in one of the more expensive areas of, like, in the United States. Like, Florida is one of the most expensive states. I, I know California and New York are more expensive, but I think Florida is up there and especially South Florida because it's by the beach and all of that um it's very very expensive like I go it's crazy because I'll go like visit my aunt in Georgia and you can get like a mansion for the price that we're getting this townhouse for it's crazy so let me know for you guys is it that expensive in the areas you live in like are things like ridiculous all over the country or is it just certain areas. I'm using the NARS, the NARS, uh, blush. So let me know how it is for you guys. Um, cause I feel like here it's just like ridiculous. So, um, yeah, I just am kind of like over it and I want to be in something. So let me know your experiences though. When you guys were first time home buyers, like how was it? Also, Guys, September, I turned 30. Leah turns, this is a Wet n Wild makeup stick. And it gives like a really nice like highlighted finish. Like I kind of just blend it in with my blush. And it gives like a nice glow to your skin. Anyways, um, Leah turns 5 in June, the end of June. And then Hunter's birthday's in September. And then I turn 30 in September. 
So we're really excited. We're hoping we'll be settled into a house and then we're hoping we can go to Disney in September to celebrate like all three of our birthdays, especially Leah and my birthday, just because ours are like the bigger years where Hunter's just turning three. Um, but we figured we can knock them all out in one shot. So, um, so yeah, we're like super excited. I can't believe I'm turning 30. Um, I feel like 20s were such a big deal for me that I feel like, I don't know how I feel about turning 30 because I feel like the 20s were like the best years of my life. The hardest and the best. Okay, my timer is going off, so I'm going to finish my makeup really quick and then show you the finished look. So here is my finished look. Um, I want to recommend two more things to you guys. These Pixie uh, eye pencils are awesome. They're like super creamy. And then this... Um, mascara super cheap it's essence and you can pick it up at Ulta so um guys I need a haircut so bad I haven't had a haircut since before since I was like pregnant and Elle is four months old so I need a haircut I want to cut it short for the summer so that's what I'm thinking let me know your thoughts I love having short hair it's just hard to keep up with so I probably will just cut it for the summer and then let it grow so anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know what type of videos you guys want to see from me um I am trying to create more content for you guys I'm definitely going to have tons of videos once we move into the house but in the meantime let me know what you guys want to see thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye